Hi there, it's Kui again. In the previous video, we learned how to model this Scandinavian living room. Now it's time to give them some texture. Let's do this. If you haven't watched the previous video, just click on the top right corner to see the link or find it in the description box. I prepared some texture for this scene, mostly on Pinterest. To find those, just simply search for the texture name plus Scandinavian to be more accurate. I have some floor textures, white wall texture, fabric texture, and a rug texture, and many more. First, we're gonna do unwrapping. The floor and walls will be the easiest. Go to the edit mode and select all by hitting A, then hit U for unwrap. Select the smart UV project. It will automatically unwrap the mesh by face. Continue doing this to other box objects, just at floor and ceiling. For the sofa, I forgot to unwrap it right when I model, so we're gonna do it real quick and easy. First, we select the edges of the cushion. Control B to bevel it, give it two segments, just like the round chair. And then we select the inner edges. Scale them inward, and then mark them as seams. You can do the same for other cushions, but right now, I just duplicate them. For the arms, the sitting, and the back, I also do the same workflow. After mark on the seams, we can hit A and then U, then choose Unwrap to unwrap them. The round chair is already unwrapped in the previous video. For the table, actually we don't need to unwrap it since I plan to use a non-textured materials. But in case I change my mind, we're just gonna unwrap it by choosing Smart UV Project in the UV menu. For the rug, since we created it from the plan, it's already unwrapped. But if you want to do it, just go to the edit mode and hit U Unwrap. And that's it. Same with the curtains. The plant leaves don't need to be unwrapped, but the trunk can be easily unwrapped by hit U and Q projection. Okay, that's fine for the UVs. Let's head into texturing. I'll search for some good floor texture, same as our references. I think this one is good enough, so I choose it. Add a new material, drag the texture into the shader editor, connect it with the principal color. And because this is a really basic tutorial, I'll do the lazy way. I'll connect the same texture into the color ramp and then to a bump node. Reduce the strength and the distance to around 0.3. Increase the roughness a bit. We will add a texture mapping to control the size of the texture. Select the texture by hitting Ctrl Shift T and make sure you have turned on the node wrangler at all. We will increase this texture about 5 times and it's pretty okay. Then you have it. I'm gonna do the same thing for the wall.
this one we also need to increase the roughness value to one and then the sheen value to two this one will make it look more like fabric next we're gonna unwrap the pillow first i select the seam line here and then right click choose mark seam then just hit u and wrap the round chair is the same as the sofa you can also do this by select the sofa go to the material tab and then drag the material to the chair the table is very simple i leave the table frame as black metal material and then the tabletop is the glossy white you can also use a white marble for the top to make it more interesting I have both the color and the normal texture for the rugs as well just connect those into the principal shader increase the roughness and the sheen to 2 I'll continue to add the planter a glossy white and a bumpy solid material. For the pictures, I put the black made material to the frame and the black and white artwork inside just like what I have here for the curtains we can just remove the principle Add a translucent shader with another fabric texture and it will be fine. The last one is the window. I had a made white to the window frame and a glass shader to the glass panel and it's done all the textures are ready to go but not yet ready to render in the final part we will learn how to light up the scene and do the post processing image in photoshop please turn on your notification to get the latest news for the next videos See you next time.